Okay, in the garage today, we have a ride-on lawnmower, an old one, um, Craftsman. But we don't have an engine. Um, it's been sitting around for a while now. I want to get it up and running and mobile. And I don't have a vertical shaft motor for this. But what I do have is this horizontal shaft. Briggs and Stratton, I built it a couple years ago and haven't really used it in anything. So we're gonna figure out how to put this horizontal shaft motor in here. I'm not sure how to do it yet, but let's try it. The motor is just sitting in here temporarily um, as I'm trying to figure out alignment. And I found some parts laying around. I have this three quarter inch shaft couple pulleys, some bearing blocks. The idea that I have is I'm going to run a belt around this pulley and this shaft will be mounted underneath somewhere around here. And I'll have one of these pulleys on it. So this pulley will turn this pulley Turning the shaft, and hopefully we can drive the belt all the way to the rear axle. I'm gonna stand this up so we can get a better idea of how it goes together. Here's the underside. I've removed most of the brackets and pulleys just to gain access. There's a belt that comes from the rear axle. Normally the belt sits just like that, but I'm going to rotate it in the shaft. We're going to mount here somewhere. Try to wedge it in here. Okay. There we go. This is roughly how the shaft would be set up. Pulley in the center, the belt twist, goes around the rear axle. Then on either end, bearing blocks that I'm going to try to mount to this bracket. I think this bracket used to hold the mower deck on, which I don't need anymore. So I think this almost lines up directly with that pin. I knock this pin out, we should be able to put a bolt right through there. And then on this side, there'll be another pulley, which will run up to the engine. As you can see, the shaft is now installed. Everything's loosely installed. Just want to make sure everything works good first. Uh, I used half inch bolts on the bottom through that plate, which I knocked the pin out of earlier. And then I had some scrap aluminum that I cut in half. I used one piece on either side with some 3 8 bolts. They're kind of long, but that's all I could find right now. The next task at hand are these pulleys. They are made to be keyed uh, and my stock doesn't have a slot for the key. So I need
need to cut a slot. And I have some square stock that hopefully will fit. I'm using this extruded aluminum to mount the motor down. Uh, mounting it down to the chassis with these T-nuts. This, this one's already mounted down. so it works I will say that was a successful project I was able to mount this horizontal shaft motor into this tractor 
and it actually worked pretty well. Um, I'm going to conclude this video, but I am far from done with this project. I have a, a list of things I want to upgrade. I need to set up some kind of throttle pedal. Um, right now I'm just using this wire. I need to change my gear ratio around. Maybe I'll make some kind of clutch mechanism to separate the drive belt from the motor. What else do I need? I need to make a seat. I don't have a seat. And uh, that's it for now.